Y'all, I don't even like bags, but I am excited to unbox this one. deal a lot with hair and beauty and makeup and skincare on this channel but I kind of felt like switching it up and changing gears for a second hence the temporary change of scenery today so if you've been watching this channel for any length of time even the past handful of seconds you've probably noticed that I'm black yes that's right I am unapologetically a black woman and this month is the designated black history month or the month where we celebrate african-american heritage here in the united states if you're not aware and you probably noticed on this channel i do try as much as possible to highlight businesses and brands that are black owned woman owned minority owned person of color owned the like companies and brands that have traditionally not gotten a whole lot of representation or foothold in their respective markets so we do that here year round here at mac the maverick but we're going to be especially intentional about doing that as much as i can during this month of february so today's review is no exception we're going to be talking about Tote and Carrie. Tote and Carrie was founded in 2016 by Tony Dennis and Tony Ray. So it is owned by a black man and a Taiwanese man who have come together to deliver us luxury bags to help us travel with luxury and travel with style. Tony Dennis has been in this business for something like 30 years. He's known as the Stitch Doctor, started his career customizing different pieces and coming out with his long line of products that represented the African-American experience. Tony Ray has also been in this business quite a while and done a lot in manufacturing and stocking some of your familiar stores with products like Zara and Burlington and Ross and H&M, so on and so forth. Um, there you go. So they're very experienced in this lane, but they're a relatively new brand having been started in 2016. So Tote and Carrie carries <laughs> the gamut of bags. I mean, top to bottom, they have everything from rolling luggage to duffel bags, tote bags, backpacks, purses, wallets, totes, laptop bags, pretty much you name it in the bag category, they have something forward. But unlike a lot of brands, they are luxury and they're attempting to be eco-friendly. We'll get to that in a second. But y'all, I'm not really a big bag person. I do travel quite a bit, so I do like to have, you know, my luggage and stuff, but I ain't never really loved, I've never really loved purses. It was pulling teeth to get me to carry one in the first place. Because I like to have, obviously, my hands and my arms free. I like to be able to move freely throughout the world. So my first solution to that was crossbody bags. I was wearing crossbody bags for years. But with the problems I have with my back and my shoulders, um, it wasn't feasible after a while for me to carry 
the balance of all that weight on one shoulder at any given time. So the next logical replacement for that was a backpack. And I was very hesitant to switch to any kind of backpack because of, of how and where I was raised. Um, yeah, I always was conscious about the potential of, you know, things being lifted out of my backpack. But visiting New York for the second time a couple of years ago, I noticed how everybody was just moving throughout the world freely with stuff on their back. So I ended up grabbing this bag, which is really my everyday bag, um, or has been my everyday bag for a while. And I have figured out ways to keep everything that is important in such a way that you would have to fight me to get it. I won't explain exactly how I do that, um, but you know, I found a way to kind of get comfortable with carrying my stuff behind me so I can still have my arms free. And occasionally, like if my husband has to preach at a different church or whatever, I do like to dress up, you know, period. But I will definitely try to put an ensemble together and I wear a more... I guess fancy or interesting bag like this one you see in the background of a lot of my videos. It's not expensive. It's not expensive at all. But, you know, it's a little bit more formal than this guy. So, to the point about tote and carry, I kept seeing ads for tote and carry on the internet on instagram and everywhere else and there was one particular item that caught my eye so again i'm not a person that will generally just go out and buy a bag or a purse especially not one at the price point is what i saw but the bag i saw was so unique and interesting that I saw it once and was like, I think I want that bag. And I kept seeing it, I kept seeing it, I kept seeing it. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and order it. And that bag was the Apollo 6 vest. So I saw a couple of the other vests that they had first and they were marketed, all of the vests are really marketed toward men, right? And I was really intrigued at the idea of a wearable bag, so to speak, like the Apollo 7 vest. I'll pop a picture of it in here. Is literally a vest that a guy would put on and it's got pockets down in it. It's really a neat concept. And then they had another one that's like two smaller bags but the Apollo 6 looked like the perfect marriage of a backpack and having a means of like keeping certain things in front of you. So I went ahead and bit the bullet and I bought the Tote and Carry Apollo 6 bag. And I haven't opened it yet, y'all. I've been waiting all week like for a week to open this so that we can look at it together. So here goes nothing. Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh. Ooh. So here she is. So I bought this bag in the color mustard and this is the backpack. And then this is the front. I get two additional pieces in the front. So to give you an idea of the size, 
this part of the bag is 10 by 11 and let me compare that so this bag they're almost the same size this one is teardrop at the top so you don't get a lot of usable space up here anyway but that's the size of it 10 by 11 and these one of these is like five by five five and a half by six and the other one is seven by six with 18 inch adjustable straps so i mentioned that the brand is eco-friendly tote and carry actually uses vegan leather for their bags so of course you're not going to sniff it and smell leather but it does smell very nice so let's take a look at this bag so we got an outside zip compartment here then I open it up here and I've got ooh, a compartment in here that has another reasonably deep zip compartment and another reasonably deep reach in compartment and it's got the um, proprietary tote and carry um, branded lining okay and then okay here on the front i've got my compartment here that is zip and then i've got my compartment here that is snap okay so, and I have my adjustable straps. Again, these are, I want to say, adjustable up to 18 inches. So, I am going to try this on and see. I'm going to try to move this camera so you guys can see. So, came outside so that I could <laughs> get myself in the frame. But it's got adjustment, adjustments here on the straps adjustments hold on and i have it twisted up then i have adjustments here for at the waist and another adjustment here at the um at the buckle and this is what it looks like on so i could totally see myself being able to easily access the things that I need like quickly here without having to take my bag off back here, which is pretty neat. Also, this is a little loose, but that's enough room for me to put a coat on this time of year over um, under it. And when I get ready to pull my coat off, I can just unzip my coat pull the bag and the coat off at the same time so pretty convenient and I'm just looking at this a little more closely I don't know if you guys can see that but you've got the tote and carry insignia here on the buckle and there and then I think I showed y'all the inside of the bag where the lining was but you also have these nice little tote and carry pools and this cute little thing you can also opt to get um a personalized tag for this bag i opted not to because i'd already spent enough money <laughs> but that is an option the zippers feel like they are going to be nice and sturdy the the pulls feel like they're not going to come off their own pretty secure and that these zippers are not likely to break these buckles are nice and heavy so i've heard good things about the quality of these bags yes the only complaints i have heard have actually not been about quality they've actually been about shipping but um i think tote and carry didn't expect to blow up as fast as they did and they have made some recti rectifications for that i ordered this bag 
on a Wednesday. It shipped from Baldwin Hills, California, probably on a Friday, and it was in my hand here in Nashville the following Wednesday. So I had no issues purchasing, no issues with shipping. I was able to track my shipping all the way through the process and no issue getting it in my hand. So this is what we got so far. I could totally see putting on maybe some cargo pants or something. Um, just kind of relaxed, laid back, tomboyish and making this baby really work so what i think i'm going to like most about this bag is traveling you've got all this space this is big enough especially for like a weekend trip if i just wanted to put a book in here it's big enough to hold a tablet it's big enough to hold all of my you know stuff even like sometimes if i want to separate my toiletries into a small bag like that's big enough for me to do and then going through like security and stuff instead of having to dig around in a bigger bag for my id and my phone and all that kind of stuff i can store that in these front pockets pull it out and put it back in and i'm also quite curious if hypothetically since it is a vest, it's a bag, but it's got a vest attached to it. Could I wear this like a piece of pro uh, clothing as opposed to carrying it like a personal item? Time will tell. But um, I think that it's got some very interesting functionality. Now let's talk about actually purchasing this bag. You can get it from Tote and Carry. Tote and Carry. Dot com. It comes in 16 different colors. Everything, the gamut from your darker, more neutral, sophisticated colors like chocolate and black and white and all that kind of stuff to brights like this mustard. They have like neon colors. They have camouflage. It's kind of where that brand, where Totem Carry as a brand leans a lot of either really luxurious feeling darker colors to very fashion forward um, brights and pastels it's really pretty neat but at the time of this taping tote and carry is having a sale this bag originally retails for 199 dollars but I purchased it, I think, for $129, and now the price is $79.99. I'm like, dang, I wish I had waited. But, you know, no matter. So, at the time of airing this video, the sale that I just mentioned is no longer on, but there is another sale happening. Evidently, Tote and Carry does a really good job of rotating their sales. There was a Christmas sale before the one I caught, which was the New Year's sale. And right after the New Year's sale left, the Valentine's sale was on and the bags were like 25% off. So just keep your eyes peeled for discounts. Time this video airs, but they also take after pay. So if it's something you really want, and you're willing to do the layaway basically you do have that option as well so um yeah it's definitely a luxury brand but for me i'm getting to the place in my life i'm not a big spender but I'm trying to get better about just buying things and treating myself to things that I legit like and, and am interested in. And to also give indie brands and give traditionally underrepresented brands the same chance that I would give some of the bigger names and to pay people what they ask for and what things are worth the same way that I would expect that. So let me know what your thoughts are 
on this bag on tote and carry as a brand if you've been seeing ads for them and also seems that tote and carry is one of the few black or minority owned brands that is represented in the luxury travel and bag space i could be wrong just because i don't look at this category a lot but if y'all know some other brands in this category that um are black owned y'all drop those in the comments so that we can know who they are i'm very interested to to hearing from in hearing from you so if you have not already be sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel um yeah and as always buy what you love love what you buy in moderation that you can afford and don't feel guilty about it life's too short not to enjoy yourself a little bit so with that we'll see you guys on the next one bye bye